a strong masculine energy. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, water sign. This person may be a water, like an aquaman, a goddess, a powerful person. Yeah, this person, they have some natural gifts and they have something for you. This could be a host. This person is, um, they have a powerful feeling of love for you. This could be a father energy or someone very mature, emotionally, spiritually blessed. They have a gift for you. They want to commit to you. This person want to plant seeds with you, but they also want to give you something for you to inherit. Someone wants to marry you. They want to take things to the next level with you, Cancer. These are tarot messages of love for Zodiac sign, Cancer. But this person, they want some kind of reassurance from you that the past is over and that you're ready to move into the new Cancer. It's, this person is waiting on you for your call. This may be someone you stop speaking with. This person is waiting for the go ahead from you. It is in your hand, the power. This person, they are ready to care for you, provide for you, love you, cater to you. But they are waiting for you to like affirm that you are also ready and willing to be a part of this journey with them. This could be someone wanting to work with you also or start a family. I think that this person may also want to come in and speak some truth with to you. This person could be a Gemini. This person could be someone's father. Or there's a, some truth about someone's father. Yeah, this person, they are, they, there's, there's someone, there may be multiple people interested in you. Someone wants to save you or protect you. Or they're saying that they want to do the best for you. But I wonder if they're thinking like what where is your head at in the situation? They want to know like how you feel because you're giving them a rigid edge energy. So this person there they feel a little bit um impatient, six of cups, but they really want to come in. They want to be soft with you, but they have to be like they, they're saying it's like an ultimatum in a sense, but not exactly the, that. But they just want your word. But they may be saying they're trying to come toward you, but you may be not reciprocating the energy, right? But they want you to. King of Cups energy. Yeah, this person, they're looking for you. And they're so, they, you have a lot of people interested in you, like maybe online watching you, looking out for you. Cancer that are interested in you. High value people that are attracted to your high value energy that you are, um, that you've generated inside of yourself so you have a lot of you have options and there is one specific person that is like waiting for you to give them like to say yes i'm going to be committed to you onward confirmation confirmation this may be a person from your past that is remorseful there's someone also hiding in the shadows watching you and not saying anything they're like watching the whole of everything so imagine this is um it's giving me like hun a hunchback of Notre Dame vibration. So imagine this is um, because I'm seeing a stage play, and then this is the person like that stays beneath the stage, so they know everybody business. Like imagine this person lives underneath the stage, right? So they're kind of out of sight, out of mind, but they can also see what everyone's business is. They can know who is. Who is dating who, who is not dating who, like in real life. They know how the actors feel about one another in real life, you know. So someone has like some some means to, to see beyond what is presented to everyone else. And maybe someone can see into your life, see who is real, who is not real. I don't know how they're, they're able to like spy or remain low-key. May I don't know, it's just giving me the energy of someone that would like live in a clock tower and no one else knows that they live there or this person lives in the theatre but no one knows that they live there, you know, so they can hear everything. Even all the actors that come in and the directors that come in, you can they hear everyone's business, but no one knows that this person is like taking everything in. They also watch the performance on stage and everything, you know? And they can see behind the scenes as well. So maybe that is your energy or someone, someone's energy. You get the Eight of Swords card. And um, they know some truth, this hermit energy. But they're keeping low-key and keeping secretive about it for right now, I suppose. Okay, so how did we get there? That was an energy of um, a person that wanted to be with you. But they're remaining low-key. They're staying more hidden, rec reclusive 
and just watching everything from this behind the scenes maybe to see because they think that they know you or what is going on in your life and the people around you so on and so forth so this person they're just like they are interested in you they give me an energy like this person they like you but they're also like holding back okay so yeah so something may be happening the tower card this may be an ending too with some or something miserable may be happening this may be something in impeding or like this this tower card is to come and someone knows it <laughs> someone knows that um so this misery or separation is to come and something is going to be exposed on the media or on tv i hear john this or john the baptist or back to basics Someone may be visiting a spiritual house, a spiritual club or something. Two of diamonds. So I don't know what all of this has to do with you. Four of wands and the two of diamonds. It's like, um... I really feel like someone likes you or they think you're lucky or this lucky spirit. Lucky charm or something. But they, they, there's something about a house or this place. It's like... A foreign place I don't know it's weird it's like a magical weird place that this person is at they work for someone or they work for you or with you or whatever but this person they're like Doo -doo -doo. you know how um it's like Alice in Wonderland like in, in some ways that that kind of vibration for real and this is the rabbit. This is the rabbit because the rabbit knows down the rabbit hole and it knows the real world as well. So this is someone from in the rabbit hole that is like, that is the rabbit, right? That is somehow like it is able to, it likes you or it is able to, to somehow watch you or something like that. It's kind of weird. Alright? But then it, it realizes like all right now that I was picking up on it signal or its intention or its feeling or wh however you know so it knew that we had somehow connected or communicating or I've, i felt something by its presence like a spirit or something but it's for real it's there in its in in the rabbit hole dimension for real but it thinks that people in this my dimension or whatever don't know that the rabbit hole dimension is real for real but it is real okay we're the queen of one the cards are okay it's real for real so this little rabbit is interested in you um it's like what is the other side of the rainbow it's like a real world over there for real all right um <laughs> okay so what am i going to do with this reading i don't know may i may have to chop it up and take out some of it because so that's a little spirit that's watching you oh it could go back to the hermit person that was living beneath the stage that can see the whole play of everything but they kind of take themselves away like the rabbit wanted to hustle away as soon as i started to feel it sense its presence you know because it somehow interferes or it watches or it intervenes or something or it may get spotted but it, it tries to move away once it gets spotted so should i chase the rabbit down the hole or whatever you know someone may like your mind or how you think or you are a dreamer i'm t there's someone that like i don't know what they want from you because they like you i would say they want to marry you but it's not even that it's it's a spirit that i feel like they they like you they want you in their world or something you're fascinating to someone but they're not it's like they can't really flirt with you or they can't it's not it's not even it's not the human i don't know how to describe this liking it's a different kind of liking <laughs> you know it's so nice it's like rich and pure and true and and regal like the rub the, the rabbit came from the the, the 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 kingdom right from the queen of cards so its vibration its spirit is different but I like it, like I like to follow it. You know what I'm saying? I'm interested in it. 
so it's like two people of this two things of the same kind same mind but from different time i suppose different forms different body maybe alice is the rabbit and the rabbit is alice okay so someone likes you they they admire you they watch you someone is seeing themselves in you cape or caveman or something or you could be dealing with a capricorn So that was the Empress card that flipped out. So like an Earth sign energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Like this is the energy that someone is seeing you in, Empress. Like you're so rich and natural and true and um, productive, creative, fertile, virile. You know? Bold, beautiful, Empress, Emperor energy. Youth. This is like, and this is the world. Imagine they're looking at you in this world like this and this person is from their world like someone wants to take you into their world i feel like that it's giving me like through the looking glass energy too two of diamonds this is your soulmate from another place but the way they think of things or how they view things is different. It's like they do things from another perspective. The looking glass energy is like they are a reflection of you, but still in a different, in the like the opposite reflected sense. They're, so they're your other half in essence. That's why you're so curious about this new world or this new love. And this person is curious about you. I don't know who found who first. Three of Cups. Alright, I don't know who found who first. But I do feel love and success and like feelings of union and feelings of familiarity. Like a family reunion. Alright? That's how I'm feeling with you and this person. Yeah. And the one... The chariot, like you're gonna find your, you're gonna know more about who you are successfully. Like you're gonna see your true self. Imagine when Cinderella is having her makeover <sighs> into her beautiful gown. That was her true self. That that is how she felt about herself inside out. Like she got in that moment of transformation or level up, she got to exceed the real value of. Her royalty, her royal presence, her kingdom energy. Oh yes. But I feel like Cinderella also felt sometimes like hiding her. Like th she came here to live this role. She came here to be Cinderella. That's her name. The one that struggles before she gets up. Whatever her name meant. So she was okay with the role that she had to play. Knowing that originally she's of wealth. She's of kingdom energy. Of course, she wants to go back to heaven is the energy. Of course, she wants to know where she's from. No one wants not to be here. But it's like she signed up for this role, Cinderella, to be in the rags vibration, to be mistreated so far for a specific reason. So she, when she came here, she knew what she was coming. She was getting into when her fairy godmother came to remind her of her true self, it was like, yeah, this is nice, this is cool, but we know it's not going to last forever until I, I learn some lessons, until I correct some wrongs or whatever. All right.